Joining us after the game, we begin with an ABC 13 exclusive. Two months after a 16-year-old was shot and killed in his car in Lynchburg, his family is sharing his story. ABC 13's Claire Foley joins us, shares the legacy and memory of Terion Marshall. He was just so full of life, energetic, loved to smile. Tamisha Foster is going through the unimaginable, the death of a child. He was my rock. And so now that I'm depressed, I don't have him here to help. I'm trying not to cry. I don't have him here to help me. Her son's life, 16-year-old Terrian Marshall, was ripped away in a senseless act of gun violence. He was shot and killed while driving down 16th Street in broad daylight back in March. I was at work and one of his friends kept calling me. I went straight to the hospital. And I was sitting there waiting, waiting, crying, just, and then next thing I know, that's when they told me my baby had passed away. As a mother, you, it's something you can't even process. What was going through your head? Yeah. I'm like, well, what happened? Where was he at? Who did it? I still don't have answers. And this family wants closure. How will that help you guys heal to have a sense of closure and justice for him as you continue to live on. I get up every day trying to put on a smile, trying, I'm sorry, trying to stay strong for the rest of my kids, but it's just hard when I'm wondering every day what happened. But for now, they're holding on to all the good memories and they're keeping Terry and Spirit alive. What's something you want people to know or just keep alive about Terry and to remember his name and remember him. His smile. Like, he was very goofy. He always alive. Like it'll be two in the morning, <laughs> fixing steak and stuff. Yes, yeah. and he always making crazy foods, mixing stuff together. Yeah. He just loved everything about life. He's in a better place, no more suffering, no more pain. He's free.